Thank you very much, everybody. It's an honor and a privilege to stand here before the best brains in Africa. Uh, so I'm humbled and... Coffee, the Valley. That's an honor to get that. <laughs> I'm humbled and I feel very small standing here before you. But yes, the governor of Mombasa couldn't make it and uh, I got a last minute call. I was actually on my way home when uh, my good friend Faraj here called me and told me that uh, the governor has asked that I come and represent him in this uh, occasion because he was held up uh, somewhere else and could not make it. He's actually out of town. So Karibu Nisana, welcome to Mombasa. Uh, it's indeed an honor and a privilege to have all of you and thank you very much uh, for the organizers to uh, bring the event in Mombasa. I think this is the first time that we've hosted this event and we are very much humbled uh, for that, uh, uh, for, the, for you guys having it here. Um, I know that uh, probably uh, I was introduced as the CEC in charge of transport infrastructure and public works but uh, I have another portfolio that has been added to me. So I'm actually the Minister for, County Minister for Transport, Infrastructure, Public Works, Lands, Planning and Housing. So I hold six dockets. <laughs> and in those six dockets, we have managed as a county government to implement uh, IT technology from the time we've come in and we have seen a huge difference in uh, revenue collection and also in the way we do, we conduct our service delivery to the people of Mombasa. For example, on the transport side, we have uh, introduced something called the happy hour, whereby I'm sure some of you have tested it, whereby during the traffic, uh, the, the, uh, do the, during the uh, peak hours, we close the bridge on one side and allow cars to travel in all, all of them in one direction. And we used, uh, we installed uh, cameras laid down by via fiber optic where we view the entire process of the movement at those times. And we also have uh, VMS boards in, in, in strategic positions informing the residents of Mombasa the timing when it starts and when it ends. And also for the ones who have to wait for the ones uh, going northbound, how long they have to wait. And that has been uh, uh, quite a success. On the planning side of, uh, of things, on the Department of Planning, uh, in, in before when you have a, eco, a construction permit, it used to take hours before you get your construction permit because it was done manually. We've managed to uh, uh, do it now virtually, thanks to the World Bank for funding us with that. And uh, the architects now apply online and they get their approval online. And we've seen a huge uh, difference in that. Uh, on, again, on the traffic side, on the parking, we used to have our parking attendants collecting the parking manually. Now everything is done through your phone, mobile phone. Uh, even the clamping is done virtually on your, on your mobile phone. Uh, once you're clamped virtually, you cannot get any services from the county government until you pay your, 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 cl county, your, your clamping fees. On the PSV vehicles, we also have the monthly payment. We do that also uh, virtually. On the lands issue, you pay your land rates now also virtually. So we've actually gone tech in many aspects yeah, as a county government of Mombasa. And we could not have done it with the brains like yours. Uh, we, a lot of you here have contributed to that. Faraj uh, of TechBees also is one of the people who innovated some of those. But I wa there's one, with all, the, with all the accolades that we've managed to achieve in uh, the IT, first of all, my hat's off to Safaricom of being the number one company in Africa to come up with the M-Pesa. So that proves that uh, in Africa we can also be a first in everything. But there's one thing that I really always had in my heart and I always wanted to have a forum to bring it out. So I think this is the best forum where I can bring this up. And my, my, actually my audience was supposed to be Safarico, but because all of you are here, it was, it's even a better forum. Why can't we have our elections done virtually? Uh, is it because are we scared of the politicians or what? Why I'm saying this is that can you imagine we are so confident of having money on our phone through M-Pesa, then why shouldn't we have confidence of having our vote on our phone? I would like a time whereby we would be able to sit in the house 
and through the same M-Pesa platform, instead of having send money, buy M-Pesa, buy bundles and whatsoever, we also have one for voting. And then you vote for the candidate that you want from your president down to the MCA in your home, in your living room. That will eliminate all the vote buying that happens during election time. And all the canvassing. Number two, I know some people have asked me when I told them this idea, they said not everybody has a phone. Because of the 20 million people who vote, not everyone has a phone. But remember, Safaricom has 160,000 M-Pesa agents. So the M-Pesa agents can, be, can, can, can actually be the polling stations. Currently, we've got 40,000 polling stations, and I read that the IBC require 40 billion shillings to conduct the election. Can you imagine if we just had it through a platform, a phone platform, we'd probably spend something less than 100 million just for that. I mean, they'd save the, the, the country a lot of money, we'd save rigging, and also, remember as we vote, we will also be tallying automatically and instantaneously. So all this thing of sitting down and waiting for two or three days for tallying to be done in some tallying center somewhere and raises the emotions of the, of, of the people and the politicians, we can do it instantaneously like this. By seven o'clock when voting finishes, the results are out. So that's one thing that if we manage to achieve that, we'll be the first in Africa. That's just food for thought. Thank you very much and God bless you all.